guys collectors I'm Erin and today I have two boxes here that I want to unbox there are some Funko Pop Pez items in them let's get started we're gonna start with the little one first so I'm gonna move this one to the side you can tell that this came from a Funko collector or seller because it's a Funko Pop and it says Woody on the side. <laughs> oh nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's two of them in here. Here's the first Pop Pez in the box. It's Quisp. It's kind of silly looking, but it's cute. And if you're not familiar with what Quisp is, I didn't know what it was. I knew it was like some kind of breakfast thing. So I looked it up and it's made by Quaker Oats. And it used to be really popular back in like the 60s. And you can still buy Quisp to this day, but I put in my zip code and I can't buy it at any local stores, but it looked like Walmart or another online store was selling it. I don't know if I'll ever want to try it, but it seems fun. <laughs> There's a sticker here on it that says limited edition, but doesn't say like limited to 2,500 or 1,000. Usually like these pop pez say. So they don't tell you how many that they made, but it's still hopefully a low enough run that this will be a good one to have in your collection. Let me get out the second one here. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one a lot. <laughs> oh, this one has a number on it. So here's Quake and see there it says 3,500. So that's all that they made of this Quake Pop Pez. This one's really nice. I like the way this one looks. It's like a, I guess it's like a miner. I don't know. <laughs> But apparently Quake was a cereal around the same time that Quisp was and it was like the same flavor. It was just different shapes. The kids picked Quisp. So they stopped making Quake and they kept making Quisp cereal. Quake doesn't exist anymore. I see how kids would pick Quisp over Quake. I think the mascot of the Quisp is a lot cuter. <laughs> but I do like the Quake mascot as well. I got these two pets. I think I paid around $15 for them and that included shipping so I was pretty happy with that. But if you were to originally buy these Pez from Funko back when they came out in 2019, it was like really early in 2019 that they were released. They came in this package. Here I'll show a picture here. It's like this giant Pez package. It's made out of cardboard and then inside you would get your Funko Pop. So there was one that had Quake, and then there was the other one that had Quisp, but they also came with this. I still might go and try to find a sealed package of each of these because the giant Pez are really cool, but I just don't really know where I'll display them because they are so big. So I thought this way would be a little better because I wouldn't feel so bad opening the packages and I could display the Pop Pez on the shelf. Oh my gosh. I like the color. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm totally washing this and wearing it. <laughs> this is the Quake t-shirt. It's super cute. It says Pop Pez on it. Because the Quake mascot is holding a little Quake Pop Pez. <laughs> oh gosh. This is awesome. I love the Funko t-shirts. I have quite a few of the Baby Yoda ones or Grogu ones, I should say. So this one. And then there's this one. See what's inside? Uh -huh. This one has the Quisp mascot on it. And Quisp is holding a Pop Pez as well. And it looks like there's like a pencil and a paintbrush and a spray can. And Quisp is inside a spaceship. And it says Quisp Pop Pez on it. I don't know what one I like better. I like them both a lot. These t-shirts I got pretty lucky as well. I think I paid around $10 for two of these. So I think I did the math and it was $35 that I spent for the two Pop Pez and the two t-shirts, which originally on Funko's website, they were $25 each. So that would have been $50 and you have to pay shipping or maybe sometimes when you buy stuff on Funko, you get the free shipping if you spend so much. So there might've been free shipping. I don't know about back then. So <laughs> just saying $25 for shipping. These had the shipping included. So I thought I got a really good deal on these and I can wear the t-shirts and I can display the Pop Pez on my shelves. That's the main reason I bought them. But you can find these on eBay pretty easily. So a lot of times on eBay, when I'm looking for something, especially when I know like exactly what I want, just go to eBay and search and sort it by lowest price and look for ones that have 
bids and not buy it now and just look and watch and just wait for some some Pez items that you want to not have any bids and you know bid on them because a lot of times I get lucky and I get pretty good prices especially for like Funko Pop Pez t-shirts which I could see a lot of people might not want these unless they're gonna wear them a lot of people just you know click the actual figures or the Pez I guess you might be able to find some good deals on there. So that's a little eBay pro tip for you. <laughs> that's it for this short Pop Pez video. I want to try to make more Pop Pez videos along with just regular Pez. I mean, there's still, it's still a Pez dispenser. It says, you know, Pez all over it. It's the exact same stem and everything. So I want to try to make some more of these videos because I want to keep trying to add more Pop Pez to my collection. I did miss out on a lot of them the first time around because sometimes they were really hard to find and I was like, oh, you know, well, I'll just wait and find them on eBay like, you know, a little while down the road, but it seems like a lot of them hold their value or go up. So I'm going to start looking for some good deals like I found this and start adding them slowly to my collection. I think that'll be a lot of fun, especially because there's news of Funko and Pez collaborating again this year, which I don't know if it's true or not, but some of the Pez dealers were saying that they got noticed that there are going to be more Pop Pez being created this year. But then there was also a notice like a couple weeks later saying that that order was canceled, like the first one. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll learn more and I'll be able to share it with you. But I think it would be pretty exciting if Funko and Pez were able to collaborate again. I really liked it. If you want to see more of my collection, you can always follow me on Instagram or TikTok. I'm Aaron Clicks Pez on both of those. I'm always posting more videos of my collection that you don't see on these longer format videos. So thanks for watching. Bye. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you know it's me and from nowhere.